The Weebly Website Builder offers plenty of helpful tools and features for making a professional website, whether you're looking to make a blog to grow your business or a portfolio to show off your work. In this video, we'll walk through how to create a professional website on Weebly in 8 steps. Let's get started. Step 1. Create a Weebly account and choose Personal Website. To get started building your website on Weebly, first visit the Weebly website, then click on Create Your Website on the homepage. Then in the next screen, fill out the form to create a Weebly account. Once you've signed up for a Weebly account, the next screen will show you a prompt about the kind of website you need to build, whether that's a regular website or one with full business features. In this tutorial, we'll focus on building a personal website, which is the better option if you need to build a blog or a portfolio for your work. Step 2. Select a theme for your website. In the next screen, Weebly will then prompt you to choose a theme for your website. Weebly has over 50 professional themes to choose from depending on what you need. Once you've chosen a theme, click on it, then click on the Start Editing button in the next screen to start customizing it inside the drag and drop editor. Step 3. Customize your website and add content. After you've chosen a theme for your website, you'll automatically be directed to Weebly's drag and drop editor. This is where you'll edit and customize your site's overall structure, design, and content. To add a page to your site, click on the Pages tab on the upper menu, then click on the plus icon and choose the kind of page you want to add. You can also add a standard page to build from scratch. In the next menu, type in your page's name, then choose whether or not to add a header or to have it visible to the public. Finally, to delete a page, click on the Delete button in the same menu. You'll also need to add sections to your website. From the Pages tab, navigate back to the Build tab on the upper menu, then click and drag the section element over where you want your new section to appear on your website. In the pop-up box, choose and click on the type of section you want to add and its layout, and it'll automatically appear on your screen. Then click Save. You can also add images by clicking on the image and choosing Replace Image, then uploading your photo in the pop-up box. And you can edit text directly on the screen. To edit your section's background, click on a section, then click Edit Background. You can choose to add an image, color, gradient, or even a video background if you are on a paid plan. In this menu, you can also move your section's location or delete it completely. Beyond adding sections, you can also add individual elements to your website. Under the same Build tab, Weebly has a menu of elements you can add to your website, from titles and text to image galleries and newsletter signup forms. To add an element, click on the element you want to add, then drag it over to your screen. Then customize it directly. You can also delete elements by clicking on the X button on its upper right corner. You'll also need to add a logo to your website. On the header portion of your website, click on your site's title, then choose Logo. Then upload your logo in the pop-up box. Finally, you'll also need to edit your site's fonts. On the upper menu, navigate to the Theme tab, then choose Change Fonts. In the following menu, you can choose the fonts for your title, navigations, and more. Just click on the tab, then choose a font and customize. Step 4. Add a blog and online store. Next, after customizing your site, while these steps are optional, Weebly also has features for adding a blog or an online store for your website if you need them, all within the same editor. We'll run through the process for each, starting with adding a blog. To add a blog to your website, navigate to the Pages tab, then add a new page. From the Pages menu, click on the blog page, then type in your blog's name. To add a new blog post, click on the New Post button on the bottom right corner, then create your post. You can also add elements like text and images. Then click Post once you're done. Your blog post will automatically be live as soon as you publish your website. Next, you can also add an online store to your website, even on a personal plan. Under the same Pages tab, click plus to add a new page, then choose Product Page from the menu and click Add Products to Store. Weebly will then automatically direct you to its online store editor, where you can add to your store's inventory. In this screen, add in your product's name, price, image, and other info, and you can even add in details like shipping and pickup info, product options, and your product's SEO. Then click Save once you're done. Inside your editor, it'll automatically appear on your website. Step 5. Set up your SEO. 
Your SEO is an essential part of setting your website up for success and getting it to rank on search engine results. Inside the editor, click on the settings tab in the upper menu, then click on the SEO tab in the following screen. In the SEO form, add in your site's description on search engines, as well as meta keywords for your site. You can also add header and footer codes and edit your page's URLs. Once you're done, click Save. Step 6. Add apps to your website. Another way to maximize your site's functionality is to add third-party apps to your website. And the good news is that Weebly has over 300 apps for everything from boosting your site's traffic to increasing your sales. Inside your editor, click on the Apps tab to enter Weebly's App Marketplace. Once you've chosen an app, click on it, then click on the Add button to connect it with your site. Once you've connected it with your site, it'll automatically show up under Installed Apps on your menu. Step 7. Set up your site's domain. Before you can publish your website, you'll first need to connect it to a domain, which is the official address that appears in your site's URL. First, you'll need to exit the editor on the upper left corner and enter your dashboard. Inside your dashboard, click on the Website tab, then click Domains in the drop-down, then set up Domain in the next screen. In the pop-up box, you'll have the option to search for a brand new custom domain, to connect with one you already own elsewhere, or to use a Weebly domain if you run a free plan. While choosing a custom domain is the best option for your site, you'll first need to upgrade to a paid subscription. Otherwise, if you're on a free plan, you can only use a standard Weebly domain. Once you've connected with a domain, it'll automatically show up inside your Domains tab. Step 8. Choose a plan and publish. After you've connected your site to a domain, it's nearly ready to be published. But first, you'll need to choose a plan for your website. When you first create your website, you'll automatically be registered to the free plan, which comes with all the basic website features, including SSL security, an online store, and SEO. However, upgrading to a paid plan gets you many more capabilities, including a custom domain, advanced payment options and insights, and many more. To upgrade to a paid plan, click on the Upgrade button on the header portion of your dashboard. Then choose and click on the plan you want and add in your billing details. Once you've purchased the plan, it'll automatically apply to your site. After you've chosen a plan for your website, it's officially ready to be published live. To publish your website, navigate back to the site editor by clicking Edit Site on the left-hand menu, then click Edit in the following screen. Inside your editor, do one final check to make sure that all of your site's elements and pages are working in the proper order, then finally, click on the Publish button in the upper right corner to let your website go live. Once your website is live, make sure to check and update it constantly. If you have a blog, publish fresh content regularly, or if you have a store, monitor your sales and performance inside your dashboard. Do regular health tests on your site, then optimize and improve areas as necessary. That sums up the process of how to build a website on Weebly. Weebly offers some of the best features for building a professional website, whether to showcase your work and content or to expand your business's scope. For a more in-depth look at Weebly's features, check out our expert Weebly review or read our article on how to build a full e-commerce website for your business on Weebly. You'll find both links in the description below. We hope this tutorial was helpful. Thank you for watching.